Now you can start. Sorry, we don't have to do the pledge again. I forgot to hit record, but that's okay. Oh, all right. Now what are we going to do, number one or two? I guess you can start with one. I don't know, in case people are on for that one. All right. I, is this just a continuance, right? Yeah. You want? Do I have to read the notice of public? Yeah, if you just want to indicate, you know, just announce it. It's 46 Washington Property, LLC. Yeah, right. Regarding... 46 Washington Avenue uh, to permit maintenance and use of a, a reading study hall, religious instruction for up to 20 people. Okay. Right. So at this point, I'm going to share a letter that I got from uh, their attorney. I think you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he indicates that uh, the applicant was advised uh, to provide a floor plan to the building inspector. Um, However, the degree of detail required by the inspector and necessitated the floor plan be prepared by an architect, which has caused the delay. So, uh, you know, my understanding is they did contact the building inspector in December um, and, you know, he was not satisfied. I don't know if I just said not satisfied. He, he asked for more detail. And uh, so uh, that's why they're going ahead and getting an architect. And, uh, and they're asking that tonight's uh, the appearance for tonight be postponed. We, we got to get adjournment, right? Yes. Okay. So we got a vote on it? And uh, yeah, if you just want to, everybody agree, you know, take a vote to adjourn. They ask it for a month, the uh, next month? Yeah, I would put it on to keep it up, you know, tight next, leash. Next month, February 18th. That's 7.30, right? 7.30. So we'll put it off to Len, right? Yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Lynn, can you uh, send him an email tomorrow? Sure. All right. <laughs> Should we go on to number two? Sure. All right. Um, it would be good to put glasses on. Notice is hereby given that the Zoning Board of Appeals of the Village of Suffering will conduct a remote Zoom public hearing on Thursday, January 21st, 2021 at 7.30 p.m. or as soon thereafter as possible on an appeal by Rockland Home for the Aid of 196 Lafayette Avenue, Suffering, New York, 10901 to permit construction, maintenance, and use of a detached garage at 196 Lafayette Avenue, Suffer, New York. The approval of such an appeal requires an area of variance from the requirements of 266-23, row MR 50, column six of the general book regulations of the zoning local law of the village of Suffer. The applicant is proposing an area of variance of the minimum side yard of 20.7 feet from the required 30 feet. The premises affected are situated on the north side of Lafayette Avenue and is approximately 750 feet east of the intersection of Oakdale Manor and is listed on the village of Suffering and Town of Ramapo tax maps as section 5537, lot 130.4. Excuse me. Is there anybody here to speak for them? Yes, Mr. Chairman, uh, this is Glenn McCready. I'm the engineer for the applicant. Okay, hi. How are you? Wanna, you got to get Swan in, uh, Lynn? Uh, he's the engineer. He doesn't he need to. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to give you a brief introduction? Yeah, please. Sure. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, so uh, this is a uh, an application to uh, construct a, uh, what we're actually, it's being considered a principal structure on tax lot 5537-1-30.12. Um, if you can recall um, from years past, um, this property was at one point, uh, one contiguous property uh, with the shell of the existing uh, one story, a two story building in the center of the property, um, which was subsequently divided two times over the, over the course of the last, uh, I'd say the last 12 years. Um, the first subdivision uh, was for the uh, towers number two, uh, which would be the 
southern building of the property. Uh, and then subsequently after that uh, building was constructed, um, the Esther Gitlow property actually uh, was offered funding from, uh, from a federal agency um, that required uh, the third lot to be subdivided from the principal lots, uh, which is the northern boundary, which is the tax lot we're talking about today. Uh, unfortunately, during that process of the approvals that, we, that were granted from the village of Suffern, um, the tax lot uh, was memorialized and, and subdivided and filed with the county clerk's office. Uh, and in the, in the interim of going to uh, the construction phase of the process, the funding stream had, had, was actually lost. Um, or was removed uh, through some government cutbacks. Um, so uh, we're left with a, a vacant parcel uh, that currently does not have a principal structure on it. Uh, it, it, it does currently host um, what we're considering campus-wide parking for all three properties. Uh, since contiguously it actually operates as one entity even though it's under three separate ownerships by parcel. Um, so uh, this application tonight before you uh, is to construct um, a, a maintenance shed for the facility for the entire campus. Uh, and uh, based upon our conversations with the code enforcement officer, uh, citing that structure on the, the vacant parcel uh, actually ultimately dictates that it has to be considered a, a principal structure since it's, there would be no accessory use. So um, we cited the, the, the structure uh, in a location that we consider uh, well, in conjunction with our client, uh, we consider it an appropriate location to, to get it uh, away from the, the, the recreational uses and the principal uses of the facility, uh, while not undermining any kind of access or ability to get to that structure uh, conveniently. Um, so uh, unfortunately, because of that siting, it does actually require a rear yard variance um, per your code. Um, the fortunate thing is the rear yard is abutting the railroad corridor. So um, there is no opportunity for any kind of development through that corridor anytime soon, um, certainly from a recreational or residential component. Um, so we feel that the, the need for the variance can be justified just through those merits alone. Uh, however, we're here to entertain that, that conversation with you tonight. And I'm here to enter, ask any questions that you have. Oh. Okay, we, we don't have any public. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, anybody have any questions from them? I do actually. Does the because of the proximity to the railroad corridor, does that allow the railroad as an entity as a whole, and I'm not even sure who that would be, to come in and question and, and make some kind of judgment on their feelings about it? Um, Lynn, was the railroad um, part of the GML? Do we know? Uh, um, not that I know of. I don't think that they, they might have been notified with the letters of notification, but they were not part of the um, GML as far as I know. You know what, they don't even come up with a property search because actually it's not even a tax lot. That's a, that's a very interesting question, uh, Mr. Simon. Um, I can say this, uh, you know, when we went through the previous application that was actually gonna propose to build a building on that site um, that was approved by the zoning board, I believe the variance that we were granted for the principal structure of that building uh, was a lot more severe than what we're requesting now. And I don't recall the railroad ever weighing in on that. Let me see if I can jockey up those documents real quick and I can tell you exactly what that variance actually was. Yeah. I don't recall the railroad being <laughs> involved so, with any of the yeah, I don't either. applications from the... Oh. Let me just see here. I should have the records here. Um, I'd also be curious when we refer to the railroad, would that be New Jersey Transit? Would that be the freight company? I'm not sure who would be the the qualifying body there. Right. It's not tra it's not transit. Um, I believe it's part of uh, it is a freight corridor and it's only um, transporting. Well, I actually I don't even know if it goes that far anymore. Um, 
from what I recall, when, when I was still working in Suffern, the only rail cars that came down that leg went to the, the lumber yard. Um, now, I don't know if it's still operating today. Uh, I, I mean, I haven't worked in Suffern in a few years now, um, but like it was maybe what we saw one or two cars a, a week. I, I don't remember exactly offhand. So let me see if I can. Right, well, first of all, I'm, back to I'm sorry. First of all, come back to Suffern. We miss you. We want more people here. <laughs> I'd love but, to, actually. Uh, I'd love to. I, I can wow. tell you that uh, Dykes Lumber gets shipments on that line. Yeah, yeah. And Manhattan Beer also gets a shipment. Ah, that was the other one. Yeah, thank you. I knew it was the lumber yard, but I couldn't remember what, if there was another one. Manhattan, that's right. And I think Dress Barn did before they went out. But it's a little more busy than, yeah. than you recall, I think. Okay. Than it was back then, 10 years ago. Okay. Let's see. Zach, are you online? Yeah. Can, can you look on the network with me and see if you can find that old file? Yeah, I'm actually looking right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why. I, I don't know if I remember the job number here. I know I have it. I apologize. Bear with me, everyone. Oh, wait, here we go. I got it. I got it, Zach. Okay, so this was in 2012 when the approval was granted. So it's nine years ago. And that variance was... Uh, 25 feet. Uh, you know what? That was a little, no, actually that's, that's not right. Um, because that side yard was different. So I, I apologize. It was not, it was a different variance that, that it was not the same. It was not the same. Um, well, Glenn, in any event, this, either way. this is going to have to be uh, continue because, um, you know, I know with the planning board, we, uh, we push it through, but the, um, we don't have the county planning back. Agreed. Agreed. And then you ask for more time. So, um, actually, you know, while you're on that topic, I never got a, a GML for the planning board either. I'll county talk to the clerk tomorrow, maybe, or if you want to give her a call also. Okay. Um, okay. I think she I, sent I, it. You know, cause you know, we'll come back to the planning board too. If, if, if we get past uh, this board, I don't mind doing that just to make sure that we're on the same page. Right. Cause they'll hold up a permit if you did, if you know, you didn't get yeah, it. And, yeah. And I understand. Stuff, so. That's not about, yeah. Does anybody else have any questions while, while you have me? Yeah, just one quick one. So it looks like the way that the building is positioned, it's designed to sort of envision possible future expansion onto the lot that it's on. Is that accurate or no? No, I not mean, really? No, well, I mean, it is its own parcel. Yeah. Uh, you know, as far as I know, they have no intentions of proceeding to build anything new on that parcel. Yeah. Um, it, it is quite a bit of work to actually develop that land, uh, which is why that funding stream from, I, I, I think it was HUD that was funding it at that time. Um, and the, you know, the amount of work we, we had to build a parking garage, it, it was a very, very strenuous design and it was a very tight parcel to fit it in. So, like I said, they couldn't orchestrate that funding on their own without some kind of outside source. And uh, at this time, from what I'm getting, they have no intentions of building. And that's why they built that, that parking lot in front there uh, recently, mm -hmm. um, because they, they figured, you know what, the chances of them developing that parcel is probably near, you know, slim to none. So that's why they, they banded it on extra parking while they had the opportunity. So at this point in time, there's no entertainment for any future expansion. And this, and the structure that they're putting in, is like one of those modular, like you can buy it wholesale and it just it's a you know like a rector yeah. set it goes right together oh okay 
All right, thank you. We're going to adjourn to uh, February 18th for you. Okay. At 7.30, February 18th. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. Let me to work. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Sure. All right. Are we done? Or do we have anything else you want to? I don't think, did you have anything else? No. No? No, that's it. You can adjourn. Okay, everybody want to join? Say aye. 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 Okay. Have a good week. Have a good month. You too. Okay, Stay guys. safe, everybody. Stay right, safe, everybody. Bye. Stay okay, safe, bye, Bruce. Bye now. Bye. Thank you.